everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back at it again for another video and in today's video we are planning out the week of March 29th through April 4th. Fingers crossed I got that right. Um, using this kit from Sugar Guru. So for those of you that don't know I am a PR girl for Lisa and Lucy's shop so you can use Steph15 for 15% 15 of her order plus my freebie and I'll have their shop along with any other shops listed in the description box down below along with any like coupon codes whether they are mine or not um but now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and just flip through the rest of this kit so these are the full boxes the bottom washi i did already pull in um date dots also from lisa and lucy shop and i did get the dates right cool glad to know um this like functional page and then this like other type page um and then i will also okay so like i laid these down to get like a money shot for the like thumbnail let's just see if these will come up oh they're supposed to be removable i don't know how removable this paper is oh wow okay i'll also be pulling in these tapes from rose colored days so it's like the bougie underlay type tape and this header overlay tape um both from rose colored days and you get like a ton on this roll you get 10 meters i think i did the math at some point you get like either 18 or 32 spreads i always forget which one um per each bougie box roll i need to write that down on like a post-it or something just so i can remember to have it at all times whenever i do one of these videos um but yeah those are the bougies this is the start of bougie month in my planner and i am so 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 excited i feel like you guys have seen bougie month anyways in my pre-planner um but speaking of which let's go ahead and just flip through this guy really quickly um so this is what my pre-planner week looks like again using a kit from sticker guru i'll have it linked in the card up above if you wanted to watch it so this is the start of bougie month the start like this was my spring break so i was watching a different movie every single day this was the start of watching all the marvel movies in order so lots of fun happening in this video but let's go ahead and just get on to with the base some fun stuff and let's get on to the rest of the video i also forgot to mention i will also be pulling in this tape that's like a scotch expressions tape that i've had literally for so long i'm debating if i want to use this like as bottom washi or if i want to use this like as layering type washi for underneath a bunch of stuff but can we just talk about how cute this is like this is a food spread I'll be using this food washi and then I will also oh did I lose it no I didn't I'll also be pulling in this tape from creativity and ink just because it's orange I typically only get to use this guy during Halloween -y season um because there's an orange they're not the same but there is orange they are both related in some way so I'll be using this tape from creativity and ink and then this scotch one and now let's get on to the rest of the video Hello everyone, what is up? It is voiceover Stephanie back at it again for the voiceover E section of this plan with me. And as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and explain my planning style and just some really brief honorable mentions before we get into the nitty gritty. I think I'm going to do like one of those chit chatty type talk through ones instead of questions, just because I feel like it's a little bit more personable. It's what I feel like doing. I'm too lazy to go grab my phone to look for some questions to do. So yeah, we're going to do some nitty gritty stuff and then get into some more fun generical life themes so as i mentioned previously this kit is from sticker guru and the date nuts that i picked up were also from sticker guru lisa and lucy's shop and for those of you that don't know i am a pr girl for lisa and lucy so you can use staff 15 for 15 percent of your order plus my freebie i'm pretty sure i mentioned that in the intro but i'm also doing this voiceover part like four weeks after i filmed that intro section so you know we're just gonna ignore that fact for a little bit <laughs> um but yeah and then the bougie boxes that i used were an overlay underlay tape from rose colored days and 10 out of 10 I recommend lauren's bougie box tapes because they are so good this one is in the like bow full confetti format and it is so stinking cute and then a lot of the foil icons that i pulled in are either from creativity and ink sticker guru or scribble prints co along with any of the foiled scripts are either from scribble prints co or nicole lexi designs um and i don't think i pulled in any overlays for any of the boxes now that i'm looking at them because they all look like exactly how they look like on the sheet um but i also did pull in some holiday scripts from rose colored days so you'll see like on easter sunday i put happy easter and then in the sideboard i don't think you see it because there's like a fat glare but um i did just put like semana santa in 
the sidebar box and again shout out to Lauren of Rose Color Days because her holiday scripts are actually so like diverse and I don't think I've ever seen anybody come out with such a like wide variety of holiday scripts so yeah there's that um and then for the header overlays the bows that I used in the middle were from Jana's freebie also from um sticker guru so you can use I believe it's Jana 15 um and her Instagram is jk creates and then on the top and bottom row those were just the matching bow confetti overlay tape roll from rose colored days to match the bougie because I thought that was gonna be the cutest um and then in the sidebar I did just use some half cut headers from scroll prints co and a five millimeter tape from creativity and ink and I think that is it for all of the honorable mentions and let's get into some more nitty-gritty type stuff for the rest of this plan with me um just kidding this isn't the nitty-gritty part this is the more fun section of this pull line with me and so this one's just gonna be rambly chit chatty hopefully you guys don't mind that front um but essentially this week was my spring break week which means I had the whole week to not have any classes I still had a bunch of like homework due basically every single day this week um so there was still a lot of studying involved I also still had to work so I did still work all of these days but it was a lot less stressful because I didn't have like four or five plus hours of zoom meetings Monday through Friday which can be very very exhausting and also tiring to look at yourself in a camera for a really long time um which is why my videos are like mostly just my hands um but that's besides the point so for my spring break to kind of celebrate the funnest, restness, easiness of the week. I did watch a different movie every single day and oh my god was this so much fun. I for sure am going to be doing this in like basically any other break that I have. Hopefully I can watch at least a movie every single like weekend so Saturday, Sunday for me um, and then also during my like summer breaks or fall breaks or whatever <laughs> other seasonal breaks I get throughout the year um, I do want to continue this whole like watch a different movie every single day um, because the movies that I watched for the most part like they surprised me with how good they are. Um, also for the month of April because it is my birthday month I do watch a different Marvel movie or I try to watch all the Marvel movies in order so that started on April 1st which was the smack dab middle of the week um and that was fun I haven't gotten that far along because like I said I'm in school so I'm mostly only watching movies on the weekends but so far so fun with all the movies that I have seen and yeah I'm kind of really excited to just do this every year for the rest of my life um but anyways on Monday I watched Cherry which was a movie starring Tom Holland and legitimately the only reason that I watched it is because Tom Holland is the star of the movie and it's directed I'm pretty sure directed by the Russos or the Russo brothers which are also like the directors for a bunch of the Marvel movies including Infinity War and Endgame and I was like you know what I love that combination in Marvel cinematic universe type stuff so might as well just watch a different kind of movie with them in it as well and it was honestly so good I full disclosure didn't watch any of the trailers I didn't really know what the movie was about besides like just one interview that I saw with Tom Holland where he said it was kind of just like a veteran type movie of like a person who does go to the military becomes a veteran becomes a drug addict and then a bank robber and like the movie was so good. 10 out of 10 recommend if you can watch it. I believe that one was on Apple TV. I could be wrong. Um, but if you can watch it, like it was literally so good. And then on Tuesday, I watched The Trial of the Chicago 7. And I, this was probably the first time that I was actually like super glued to a movie. Typically when I watch movies, like I'll like flip through Instagram every so often or I'll just like my mind will wander but I feel like this was the first movie in a very very long time um that I actually just kind of like stuck with it and watched it all in one sitting without an excuse to try to go to the bathroom for a little bit um and was actually like paying attention the entire time it was space I don't even know if this is I'm pretty sure this is based on true story I legitimately have no idea but it was just a really good movie and I need to like brush up on the historical side of it um so I, I would give like cherry a 9 out of 10 and I would also give the trial of the Chicago 7 a 9 out of 10 and then on Wednesday I watched Godzilla vs Kong and oh my gosh was that movie a waste of my time I had 
I had a lot of fun watching the movie, don't get me wrong. Like, the graphics were really good. I loved, like, the coloring of the movie. The, like, soundtrack e mood section of the movie was also really cool. But I think because I've never seen Godzilla or Kong Skull Island, like, I've legitimately only seen the King Kong movie that came out, like, forever ago. Um, I had no idea what was going on. But also, I saw reviews on the internet of people that have watched both of those movies and also did not like Godzilla vs. Kong so it didn't make me feel that bad like I'm not super salty about not liking it because even people that understood it were like yeah not the greatest so I would honestly give it a 4 out of 10 I would recommend watching it solely for the purpose of having said that you watched it but also if like Godzilla King Kong type movies aren't your jam totally skip it not worth it um and then on a Thursday I watched like this was the start of my Marvel movie marathon madness for the month of April that was so many m's oh my gosh <laughs> um but so I did watch the first four movies of the MCU timeline Disney plus has them in order now also I don't know if this is a rumor but apparently Disney plus is gonna get all the spider-man movies in 2022 and I am so ready for that granted I've already bought some of the spider-man movies specifically like Tom Holland spider-man movies um so like kind of should be salty because I paid money for them but also really excited because then I could watch like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, hopefully they come into the mix of Disney Plus as well but I don't know hopefully it's not a rumor and comes to life because I love me a good superhero e movie um but yeah anyways I watched all the Marvel movies not all the Marvel movies four different Marvel movies from Thursday through Sunday so in order I watched Captain America First Avenger and then Captain Marvel Iron Man and Iron Man 2 and I will say I think one of the things that makes like a good movie is its ability to be re-watched um I think I am for sure in the minority of like I love re-watching movies and I my favorite kinds of movies are the ones that I know I can watch over and over and over again and not be like salty about it um which is why like for example I love the Christian Bale Batman movies because I feel like every time that I watch it no matter which one I watch but also specifically The Dark Knight Rises um there's always something new that comes up from the movies and also like my favorite movie of all time is Jim Carrey How the Grinch Stole Christmas um and I think that one's just like lots of fun comedy turn off your brain for a little bit kind of movie that can be rewatched over and over and over again of the four movies that I watched this week I think the only one that got better watching it the second time around was Captain Marvel because this is only like my second time rewatching all the Marvel movies um so Captain Marvel for sure got better higher in the ranking I think I would give it like an 8 out of 10 and then First Avenger Iron Man and Iron Man 2 I think I would give them all 7 out of 10s and I think they all ranked closer to an 8 the first time that I watched them but I will be giving my definitive ranking for the second year in a row when I like finish rewatching the movies in mid to late May when I use the superhero kit from Scroll Prince Co. Um but yeah that's basically it for this voiceover. Hopefully it doesn't sound super weird because I did this whole thing in like one take and hopefully you guys are enjoying the more rambly type talk through one. I for sure like them because they're more like chill out relax with me, pull out your planner, do whatever you want to do kind of a thing and not super hard hitting. I just want to do like more intense plan with these. Intense is the wrong word but just different plan with these every so often but I think for right now the like chill chit chatty type things will be basically what my channel is going to be until I'm done with finals if I have not mentioned that 20,000 times already um but yeah so that's it for this little voiceover e type section and let's get on to live action Stephanie for the rest of the video okay so that is everything for this spread all filled out and just gorgeous stunning beautiful all that fun stuff I think that I will not end this color blocking kick honestly for a while just because like the past couple of like spreads that I've done have all been color blocking and I've loved them all so much so I 1000% think that this is now my go-to style and I'm 
so excited um so really quickly let me just go ahead and flip through this kit this is everything that i have left i did use most of this hopefully the lighting is still pretty okay um just because like one of my lights is overheated and she hasn't wanted to cool down basically at all um so hopefully the lighting is okay and then i, I also really quickly did want to mention that i did pull in this weekend banner from sticker guru over here at the bottom um but yeah that is everything for this spread this is a sneak peek at the kit that i will be using for the next week um from nicole alexia designs and i am so 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 excited for basically just the rest of this planner i feel like this is the most that i've ever flipped through to look at past spreads because i just love them all so much and it's so exciting and i always forget to put down my monthly scripts so i just like very not smartly added a bunch of things over here to the side type little pocket so because this monday was still a part of march i'm gonna go ahead and just put this march script along here and yeah again my very half-assed pocket that was the like envelope from letters to apollo that i just cut the top off of and taped to the back of my planner because might as well i've also just generically added a lot of things to this planner like i have a whole like pokemon card section with a little like dashboardy thing that i kind of just made for the fun of it um so if you guys want to see an updated like flip through of this guy um let me know if that's something you want like maybe a mid-year flip through planner update do i even like this kind of a thing um yeah i think that's basically it so as per usual oh wait no not as per usual i keep forgetting that <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video and now as per usual don't forget or no let's go ahead and pause take a little bit of a breather take a little bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me i accept myself unconditionally just like you know the katy perry song um but more towards yourself instead of like a different person um because you know we're all human and we're all evolving and adapting and learning and in really crazy circumstances that no one would have predicted like two years ago um so just remember to love yourself take care of yourself and do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkly human being and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys